When TTT News contacted area representative Sonny Craig on Thursday, he said while the Booker Village Council felt the time was too short to host the annual Goat and Crab Race, following the Prime Minister's announcement on the lifting of COVID-19 restrictions, the Tobago House of Assembly has taken up the responsibility. We don't think so. Um, so we are proceeding and um, we're having, we've had conversations with them um, from since January actually. Um, but the COVID created some measures of uncertainty in the whole, in the whole discussion, right? So now that um, now that the place is opened up sufficiently to host the event, we are saying that we are going to proceed. Mr. Craig explained over 20 jockeys are excited to hit the track after a two-year halt. We need to keep the art form alive. The goat owners and the jockeys depend on this event yearly as a, as a way of sustaining the animals and sustaining themselves. So they are clamoring for it and we think after the two years of without the festival, we should um, make a concerted effort to ensure the event comes off this year. Assemblyman Craig provided details on this year's event, which will take place on Easter Tuesday. It might be a, a bit less because that's why we call it a taste, a taste of buku. But we're going to be having goat races. We're going to be having, now that a, there are no more safe zones, we just attend the event, observe the protocols. We might not have the street parade before, but at 1 o'clock we begin activity. There will be entertainers, there will be food. The much-anticipated crab race is also expected to be part of the event. And Mr. Craig said sponsors have been expressing interest to support. Carissa Douglas... 40 to 10 years.